What is going on, you guys? It's that time again for another player error project. This time we're going to be doing Mr. Paul Warfield. Um, so this isn't going to be the normal player error project that you see on my channel. This one is going to be a little different. And the reason that is is because Mr. Warfield and I have been emailing back and forth um, for, I guess, the better part of two months. So he told me once I got home to go ahead and send him some cards to get signed. So to me, I kind of took that as... Hey, let's get a player error project together. Um, so I have those, and we'll get to those here in a minute. Um, but I wanted to talk about Mr. Warfield's career. Um, and so I have a lot of buddies that are football fans or NFL fans or whatever you would like to call it. And they never heard of uh, Paul Warfield, um, which is kind of astonishing because he had one hell of a career. Um, Eight-time Pro Bowl, twice was selected to an all-pro, two-time Super Bowl, member of the 70s all-decade team. Um, he also won an NFL championship, which is the Super Bowl before they called it the Super Bowl. Um, and he's a member of the 100th anniversary all-time team. So, I mean, you could only make a team, right? And so when the NFL makes 100 years worth of the greatest of the greats, he's on that team. Um, and that should kind of tell you what a stud this dude was when he played. Uh, he's a member of the Browns Ring of Honor, which doesn't mean a whole lot. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Browns fans. And a member of the Dolphins Ring of Honor. So um, he's done it all. And through our email dialogue, he has been one of the coolest cats in the alley. It, it, Mr. Warfield could not have been any nicer. Um, so I'm not going to say this is going to be a big roll of the dice. Um, but after this, I am going to lay these cards out and take a picture of them and send it to him and say hey this is what I'd like to send and see what happens so um, let's go ahead and get into these cards so his rookie card is the 1965 um, Philadelphia I'm not gonna turn the camera around for this one we're just gonna do one one shot um, so the 1965 Philadelphia and this card is actually pretty expensive um, and I don't necessarily think it's because it's his rookie, although that doesn't help. Um, a lot of these cards in this 1965 Philadelphia set are, are getting quite pricey. So that's that's nice. And then it, they don't really come up that often on auctions. There happens to be one right now when I'm filming this. Um, but it will be long since gone by the time I get this back. And then he does not have a 1966. The Browns do have a team card that he's on. Um, but then this next card is a 1967 Philadelphia. 1968 Tops. And then he doesn't have a 1969 card. Um, which, once again, so he were, what, a couple years into his career. And there's already two years that he doesn't have. But you've already heard his accolades, which I think is pretty weird. A offensive player at one of the sexy positions if you will um, I personally consider those on the offensive side the the quarterback running back and receivers um, and he already doesn't have two cards so it um, looks like a lot of people back then were sleeping on him as well and 1970 tops and then he moved on to the Dolphins with the 71 72 73 tops and then something weird kind of or not not just yet that was 73 so this is 74 and then I don't know why I didn't look into it very very much but then he took a season off of the NFL and in 1975 he played for the Mississippi Southmen um, which was some type of football league um, down there. So I thought that was interesting. And then he came back the year after that. So in 1976, he came back. Here's a 1976 tops. And then his last card right here, the 1977 tops. So that is that for the cards um, I am gonna send him some extras 
not for me. I'm going to make it very clear in my note. Um, he's been so nice to me. I'm going to go ahead and send him the rest of the Paul Warfield cards that I have. And maybe he can give them out to f fans, friends, or family. Whoever he chooses. Um, so these hopefully don't come back. Um, and this one's really cool. So that is going to be that for the Paul Warfield cards. Hopefully, the next scene you see is me opening up a package. It has came back, um, which I said in the first part really wasn't a huge surprise. Um, Mr. Warford, I, Mr. Warfield actually emailed me when he got the cards. And then he and told me he was going to sign them in a couple days. <laughs> like he emailed me, he received the package, and that he was going to sign the the cards in a couple days um, when he had some time. And then he emailed me a couple days later that said he just signed the cards and he would get it out out in the mail the next day. And then he emailed me the next day and said that he got them out in the, in the uh, mail. So to say he went above and beyond. I think would be an understatement. Um, I did already um, cut it open and I, I looked at them. They're all signed and signed beautifully. Um, and then he left this cool note right here. And I'll read it to you. Um, you'll have to excuse me. It's like really early. I haven't had any coffee and I'm freezing. That's why this blanket's on my back. Um, it says, Serviceman Brunru again. Again, it has been a pleasure communicating with you. Um, thank you for your service to our country. Sincerely, Paul Warfield. P.S. Thanks for the additional cards. So, I have a, a cool note like this, or I received a cool note like this um, in the past from Johnny Robinson. And what I did was I cut down the post-it note to the size of a baseball card, which I've actually already done to this one. And I sent it into PSA. And I had it slabbed along with the rest of the Johnny Robinson player era set. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do with this too. Um, really cool. I think it's a really cool piece. Um, it's a really cool piece to put with your player era set. So we'll just mow on through this. I already talked about each card and all that on the intro. Um, but these turned out... So, so good. There's the rookie. He signed them all in blue, adding the Hall of Fame inscription. I haven't emailed him quite just yet to say, you know, thank you, and I received them. But one thing I do want to ask, um, which I, I talked about in the first part, um, is why he went and played for the Mississippi Southmen. Um, I would say like 60-65% through his career. Like why'd he take that year off? Um, I still think that is like just the strangest thing ever. Now this one turned out absolutely gorgeous. Um, I mean, the blue just pops on all the cards, but just some of the cards uh, makes it... Some of the cards just look better, you know, than others. And just a couple more. And here's the last one. And the last one actually has a pretty significant crease. Um, I don't know, you might be able to see it. Well, no, you can't. Actually, you can see it right there how it's bent. Uh, it's creased pretty good, but got the old Paul Warfield crease on that one. So that is that. Um, super, super cool player era project. Absolutely loved um, the email dialogue that Paul Warfield mm -hmm. and I have had back and forth. Um, I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to lead to a huge friendship or anything, <laughs> but... Uh, it has been super, super cool and a very unique and special part of this particular player era project. 
Um, so that is that. Until next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye. Toodles.